Okay, so what we're aiming to do today is work on the trees and try to, through our both examples, show that we're improving the level of detail and making progress through, uh, through the two examples before we go on to our final piece. So if we look at these two examples, uh, we've got this example where it's a good beginning, there's a good level of detail, but then with further thought and practice, uh, he's going up to the much higher levels of details, much finer brush strokes, uh, which will then put him in a good position for when he works on his final image. We've got our paper, uh, we've got our brushes. The first thing I suppose to say is that the better the quality your brush is, the more likely you are going to put in the level of detail required. So, this example, as you can see, it doesn't go to a point. Uh, this example, much better condition. Uh, we talked about getting the general shape of the tree, first of all. Now, looking at your examples to work from, you've collected, as you know, a number of examples. Real life examples like this can in some ways be a bit more complicated, but if you've collected some uh, illustrations, some pictures, which have been a little bit simplified, those provide you with a better starting point. I'm gonna do the outline shape of what I would consider to be quite a sort of oak tree outline. And I'm gonna use that to work towards. So mix in the paint up first of all, not too watery, not too thick. I'm gonna to try to twist the brush actually into a point, test my color, seems to be pretty good consistency and start off with the trunk, turning the paper if I need to and go into the wider branches first. There might be two, there might be three. The wider branches equivalent, if you add the width of the three of them, they probably work out to the width of the trunk and equally so, when these branches start to split, the width of these two branches, of this big branch, sorry, is equivalent to these two. And you keep going outwards, splitting, keeping to split until you get out to a level before you start to do the fine brush strokes. That, to me, it looks like it needs to be a bit thicker, then that probably would split about there. So we've got to that level. Next, we're talking about the very fine branches. What I tend to do with the very fine branches, instead of working back and forth like that, I tend to drag the brush away and lift it gradually off the paper. In that way, what's gonna happen is You can, you can put a much finer level of detail in, which hopefully is going to allow you to access the much higher marks. Again, keep testing your paper. If it's not quite right, the brush will work a bit thicker. You can see how low down I'm holding the brush. This is in a way why you can get a finer level of detail with a brush and just the one or two fine hairs which stick out the end compared to even a sharp pencil. So that's what you're working on. Now even that example I've just done in a couple of minutes, if you compare that 
to the example of a very good example from last year, you can see with time and effort and a very delicate use of the brush, you can get some excellent results, which hopefully there will be a step up from here to here and then onto your final painting.